Hi everyone. This is Dr. Rajesh Shrinivas. I'm a consultant orthopedic surgeon in Manipal Hospital, Orthodon. I'm specialized in joint replacements and sports medicine. We do all joint replacements, mainly the knee, hip, shoulder and elbow. And sports medicine is a specialization in orthopedics which deals with ligament and muscle injuries in all the joints. Total knee replacement. Total knee replacement basically means replacing the damaged cartilage with the implant and we do this quite often this is commonly done joint and the common cause for this is one is age related wear and tear nowadays because of sedentary lifestyle weight plays a crucial role and if there's any previous injuries which have been unaddressed that can lead to advanced wear and tear of the joint and now in this we replace all the part of the damaged cartilage with the implant and we keep high quality polymer in the joint for the easy movement and nowadays we have got advanced materials like ceramic which has got less wear and tear and more life typically this lasts for around 26 to 28 years the patient will be made to walk after 6 to 8 hours after the surgery the patient will be made to use washroom immediately after 6 to 8 hours the patient will be started knee bending the physio will begin soon after the surgery the physiotherapy is as equally important as the surgery the admission will be there for 48 to 72 hours based on the recovery and the patient will be having frequent follow ups for 2 to 3 weeks and the patient will be walking without any support after four weeks. And the coming to the complications of the total knee joint replacement, first and the main thing is the infection because we are inserting a foreign material inside the knee joint. The risk of the infection is between 0.5 to 0.8%. And the second thing is the ligament injury, which leads to instability after the surgery. This we can easily tackle with the meticulous clinical examination before the surgery and we do multiple stability testing during the surgery so that the ligament injury which happens inadvertently can be avoided. And the third thing is the risk of what we call as a DVT which is nothing but blood clotting in the lower leg veins which we address by early mobilization of the patient. We give a blood thinner for the period of 3 weeks.